Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another foundation first impression. You guys know this is what I love doing the most here on my channel. I love trying out new foundations and giving you the scoop on them. If you didn't know that, that means you are new to my channel. She'll show show make sure to click that subscribe button so you never miss any of my videos a lot of my product review i can't even finish that sentence a lot of my first impressions just so happen to be on foundations because i'm just obsessed with trying new ones perfecting my complexion so if you are into that subscribe now today i'm going to be testing out the new cover girl i can't even finish so today i'm going to be testing out the new <laughs> the giggles right now. So today I'm going to be testing out the new CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. When I first heard about this, I knew I had to try it because it was a matte formula from the drugstore and I do have more combination oily skin, get a little shiny throughout the day, so I wanted to try this out. And then I heard that CoverGirl was releasing 40 different shades, which is pretty amazing pretty bold congratulations covergirl for turning things up a little and giving the people some more shades to choose from so fingers crossed i am able to find a shade that matches me in this color range but one thing i want to quickly touch on before i even do the demo because i think it's really important and probably was the biggest downfall for me with this foundation so far is that when you go to the store to find your shade, I couldn't find mine because the stores that carry the foundation are not carrying all 40 shades, which I know it's obvious, it's probably really hard for a drugstore to do. I totally understand it's not like a Sephora, but the display units that they have are just terrible and I think that they could have been done better because it's like a the ones that I've been to anyway and it's like every drugstore in my city because I wanted to find my shade but it's the same tester unit in every one it's this rotating four-sided unit on two of the four sides are like the rest of their new products right now which are the lipsticks and the eyeshadow palettes and then on the other two sides are the foundations and they're really only built to carry 16 of the 40 shades and that's not enough. And what CoverGirl has done is broken the 40 shades up into 10 light shades, 10 medium shades, 10 tan shades, and 10 deep shades. And I quickly learned that I was in the medium shade range. That's why my bottle says M on it. But I was only able to find like two medium shades in all of the drugstores that I checked. There was a ton of light shades available. There was only one, and I checked a lot of drugstores, there was only one deep option that I was able to find in all of them, and barely any tan. So it was frustrating. In my, in my case, it worked out for me because CoverGirl sent me a package with what they think are my shades. So I have one light shade, three, three medium shades, and then one deep shade. So if I have to mix. So inside it says the foundation is inclusive of all skin needs. True blend matte made minimizes pores, controls shine, feels comfortable on your skin and stays put. Comes with a pump, which I really appreciate. I'll do swatches of all the colors so you can see which one and hopefully be able to match yourself based on my video. And what I've learned is, especially when you're doing swatches, let them dry because the color completely changes when they're dry. They always oxidize. I'm gonna try the M50 right beside it. Definitely too dark, I can tell you that right away. You can really see how this one's showing cool versus that one which looks almost more olive toned. And here is M60. I think that I am going to go with M30 because I think maybe if I blend a little bit of the M30 and the M50, I might be able to make something work. All right, I've got my tried and trusted Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream on. I'm gonna use a brush for one side and right off the bat, you can see it's just too light for my skin tone. I don't know what these are. It has like these little white bits like dots all over the skin. When you touch them, they're leaving white streaks. I don't, I don't think you're gonna be able to see that on camera, but they're leaving white streaks, so it's almost like the white pigment from the foundation is just not blended into the product properly. And then you can like almost blend it out on your skin, weird. I'm gonna take a pump of the M50 
there it is. Just try to work in some of the yellow of that foundation and try and make this work. I'm not really liking how it's applying with a brush. It's a little bit streaky and I feel like it's not really allowing me to build up coverage. Actually, I don't even know what kind of coverage this is supposed to provide. Give me a second, I'm gonna Google it. What's weird is on the CoverGirl website, they're not even advertising what kind of coverage it's supposed to be. So far, I don't think I'm gonna get a full coverage. I think more of a medium with this, but oh, Oh, that's nice. It's dried down to a matte finish, not super drying, but it's more of like a, like a, like a gel almost. I feel really confused with the application so far. So on the other side, I'm actually just gonna go for it and I'm gonna use M50, the one that I thought was way too dark. Whoa, it's really quite obvious. This one is just too olive tone and it's kind of making me look a little green and it almost makes this side look better but I I did like it a lot better with the sponge so what I think I'm gonna do just give me a few seconds here I'm gonna even everything out all right let's just quickly talk about the pros what I like about this foundation I like how it's dried down to a matte finish that doesn't feel overly drying like it's set all on its own I don't think I'd even need to use a lot of powder like barely any powder with this product it's not settling into fine lines up on the forehead it doesn't have that thick look to it but again it's probably because it is more of a medium coverage definitely not full on me at all I'm seeing more of a sheer medium now let's get into the cons unfortunately I wasn't able to make a color work for me like the tones going on to the face are all wrong and what's really throwing me off are these white dots all over the skin and they won't blend out. When I was blending them in earlier, it's, they were breaking down, but now that it's dry, they're just flaking off. Just don't even know what to do with them. So if you've tried this foundation, let me know if you're getting them too. Like, do you have the white dots and what are you doing to get rid of them? And then I think obviously the biggest con for me is how it applies and how it looks on the skin. There's just so much separation and it's getting a little bit cakey in certain areas. Okay, you guys, I'm torn with what to do because I got my concealer blended out to where I was good enough with it, and then I was just thinking I could set my face and move on, but I'm not happy with it. So I'm, um, I, I, um, I gotta do it. I have to do it. I'm gonna take this off, reapply it, and yeah. All right, I'm back with no brows. This means business, because I literally just went and washed my entire face so we could get this rolling, because it's honestly, it's a pain in the butt when you gotta do a foundation twice for a video. This side I've moisturized, this side I've moisturized and primed. Let's see if a primer is going to help. And I actually think this time around, um, I just tried it. I Hopefully this is gonna work. I'm gonna actually take the light shade. This is L10. This is the lightest one in the shade range and I'm gonna take M50 which is this guy because it has more yellow to it the other one M30 has more pink do a little mixeroo and try and come up with my color like this versus mixing those other two shades please work I don't know if that's gonna work that looks a little too light now and I've also switched my beauty blender like before I was using the black one this is just too porous I actually don't like how it blends out I gotta stop using that one and I've switched over to one from Tweezerman I've never used this before I actually just found it a few days ago and I'm gonna give it a try let's blend it whoa it's already starting to set so much better the second time around application wise it just went on so much more smooth the product actually stuck to my face and I'm seeing a lot less separation and cakiness especially on the nose color I think is a little bit better it still looks a little it looks a little bit more yellow than I'd like but I'd rather be more yellow versus the pink that I was before but the thing that is throwing me off the most still about this product is the fact that I have these white beads all over my face. I'm gonna zoom right in. You see all of those white specks all over my face. Look at my forehead. So for me, 
I'm liking it a lot better the second time around, but I don't know if I would grab for this foundation simply because of the fact that I have these noticeably white balls all over my face. Oh, and one more thing. I think using a different beauty sponge was the key because this one is just so much more smooth. The black beauty blender, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't work as well. So I think that if you were using a regular pink beauty blender, you'd be okay. What's happening again? Okay, this is just looking so yellow on top of the yellow. Try not to, uh, try not to look too much at that. But do you see the separation going on? on the nose. For some reason, it just does not want to stick. I set my under eyes with a little bit of loose powder and my makeup's on, got a little bronzer, blush, lip gloss, brows are done. And while I was finishing up my makeup, I was thinking about how I wanted to finish up this video. Cause you guys know I would normally wear the foundation all day, come back later tonight, do a final check-in, and then let you guys know my thoughts. But I think I already know them because I've really been looking at my skin and I'm just not really into how this is looking because of all the separation that is going on on top of the nose. Like, it looks cakey. Uh, I tried the primer, I tried with no primer. The side with primer is actually doing a lot more separation on my upper lip, which is so strange. And for a foundation that says it's supposed to minimize pores, I'm seeing the complete opposite with my skin. Like it is showing every single pore that I have on my face, dot, dot, dot. There's a bunch here on my chin dot 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 on my nose this is really gross because i'm getting real up close and personal with you guys but look at these dots on the tip of my nose that is just so gross i don't know unfortunately it just didn't work out for me i was watching some other people's videos while i was finishing up my makeup just to see what they were seeing and if they ran into the same problems that I did. Now that I've done my makeup, I've already formed my opinion. Some, I did see one video and one girl say that she saw the white specks all over her face, so that made me feel better. And there was one other girl that said it didn't want to stick to her nose either, so that also made me feel better. But there were a ton of other people when I was skimming through just to see the thoughts and opinions. They said they loved the foundation. They said it worked really great for their skin. They liked the coverage. It wore really nicely throughout the day. So for me, I don't know what's going on. And I feel like I did enough trial and error. Um, yeah. I think that just goes to show that something that may work for somebody else may not work for me, vice versa. So I would still give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. Maybe you've already tried the foundation. I want to know what you think of it. And if you have a solution for me, please let me know. I don't like ending videos like this where I, it just didn't work out for me, but you guys know how it is or you should know by now that I try to give you the most honest opinions. Uh, I give it to you as if I were given my family an opinion, and that's what I think of you guys as, is my family. So there you go, like it or not. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, just didn't work out for me. So I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe and come back next Friday for a brand new video. And until then, I hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.